If you're a coffee lover, you'll love today's episode. Or if you're someone looking for an easy way to get a lot more antioxidants into your diet, you're going to find this very useful as well. All right, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about coffee. And there's some studies that have found coffee to be actually the number one source of antioxidants for people uh, in these countries. And in one sense, it's not uh, completely surprising if you look at the fact that a lot of people don't eat uh, a lot of antioxidants or high antioxidant foods. And you consider that uh, coffee is generally consumed, sometimes in too large of amounts. But there's an interesting thing that the study also reveals is that coffee is actually extremely high in antioxidants. It's one of the highest antioxidant-rich foods uh, that you can consume. And that's what this study kind of shows. And it's such an easy source of antioxidants uh, for most people, especially if you're on the go especially if you are a coffee drinker like I am, I must confess I love my morning cup of coffee. I, I don't go without it. And I actually make a strong, very strong coffee, uh, espresso coffee. And the good news is that has actually been found to be the highest in uh, antioxidant levels is espresso coffee. So if you're going to do coffee, go for espresso. It's, it's going to be stronger. But it also brings up a really interesting point. Um, you see, plant-based foods are a source of antioxidants, and they are in a high source of antioxidants. And that's one of the great benefits of going plant-based uh, that most people don't realize. You see, I didn't realize, for example, that coffee was so healthy uh, for many years we do have, you know, previous studies that would fa would find some correlations between, you know, coffee consumption and lower risk of uh, mortality and diseases. I don't think they really knew why, but now they're finding out that it's it's the antioxidants that are found in coffee. And of course, coffee is a plant based food. It comes from coffee beans, which are plant based. And actually, the coffee beans by themselves are super high in antioxidants. So it probably would be better to, to actually eat the coffee beans if you could. And you can, you know, you can get coffee beans, um, although a lot of times they're, they'll be covered in chocolate. So you probably want to get like a dark chocolate with a minimum amount of sugar if you're going to be eating lots of them. But anyway, what it shows is that these these coffee beans have high levels of antioxidants and the good thing about antioxidants is they help prevent these diseases entirely by neutralizing something called uh, free radicals and so free radicals are something that develop in our bodies just from regular daily stresses you know that could be you know poor food or the just pollution in the environment or just our normal stress that we have from the day. So you can't really avoid these uh, free radicals. But what you can do is intake more and more antioxidants and the antioxidants will neutralize the free radicals. And you want to do this because these free radicals will basically cause inflammation in your body. And over time, inflammation will lead to uh, these chronic diseases. Uh, and, the, and, and that's why these antioxidants are important because they'll help come in and neutralize that and also reduce inflammation. So that's the good news. Um, if you are a coffee drinker, uh, you want to have you want to make sure though when you, you are drinking the coffee, of course, you want to do it in moderation. Don't go crazy because you're also going to get a lot of caffeine. So, you know, don't go out and drink 10 cups. But also remember not to add a lot of 
sugar or uh, milk into your coffee, at least cow's milk, as that can actually reduce the antioxidant absorption. And of course, the sugar uh, can have negative effects as well. And if you're someone who likes to go to Starbucks, you know, you may want to also steer clear of the frappuccinos and don't think that it's going to be a health drink for you. I remember looking at the uh, nutrition content of the frappuccinos years ago and oh my gosh, it's it's crazy. It's like 55 grams of added sugar. It's really, really high. So if you are someone who frequents Starbucks, you may want to avoid those uh, except on special occasions and your birthday. So try to drink the coffee in as pure of a form as you can find it and as strong of a form as you can tolerate it. And if you're not a huge coffee drinker, uh, there's a little bit of hope you can get antioxidants from tea and green tea as well. And that's actually uh, when they did a study in Japan, they found it was, I think, really high, like 80% of all their antioxidants were coming from beverages. And that's because they drank coffee and tea uh, and beer, I think, was added into that. So tea is not as high, but at the same time, you don't get as much caffeine, so you can drink more of it. Uh, not as high, but it's still a good source. So if you're not a tea drink, you're not a tea drinker, definitely go with coffee. If you're not a coffee drinker, go with tea. Each of those are going to benefit you well. All right, so there you go, guys. Coffee, an easy way to get more antioxidants into your diet, and those antioxidants are good for us. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know. Leave a positive comment or review. And check out the links for any useful resources, my free uh, plant-based guide, as well as anything that you may find useful, gifts, merchandise, and more. And thanks for listening. Until the next episode.